Hi, everyone. Um, this is going to be a video about Ahrefs' new pricing plan. So as you all know, or as you're finding out right now, it's a pretty pricey tool with the initial subscription starting at 119 euros per month, even more dollars. It's uh, quite a lot, and you don't want to pay that on a regular. Even I, myself, when I use it, I just usually take one month whenever I need it do what I want and then I cancel because I don't want to pay this amount every month if I'm not using it to the same extent. But I've recently found that they have a new subscription type called Starter. And that's just 27 euros per month, which is more than affordable. And you can see there is a description page of the Starter plan and what you get for it. It's pretty short and doesn't really answer all of my questions doesn't really tell me what exactly i will have and what exactly i will not have so it does list the available tools but i was not was not still quite sure what i'm getting after i pay for it so i figured that making a video and showing what exactly it is uh, might be quite helpful which is i suppose why you're here and searching for it so the main thing that the starter plan gives you access to is the SEO dashboard that you can see right now. In fact, the dashboard is something that you get even if you sign up for free. So I don't see that as a huge benefit. Then it gives you access to the site explorer section. And that is quite useful, especially if you want to research your competitors. You can put any website here and it will give you a good overview of what they rank for some of their backlinks. Well, to be fair, the backlink tool is also free, but this gives you a better and wider view of their backlinks. Uh, the Site Explorer, once you open it up, it uh, actually shows you information the same way that it would show you on different on other more expensive paid plans, which is quite nice. You have a good overview of backlinks, although again, it's slightly limited, but you see it shows you a lot more than the free tool does. And it actually shows you all of them, to be fair. You can filter and filter them any way you want. It shows you distinct referring domains and uh, well, really everything else that you might be interested to look for, especially when doing competitive research. It, you can uh, you can go with the organic keywords section also gives you a good overview of everything that the website ranks for. And one of my favorites in this section is the uh, content gap section, which allows you to identify, well, literally the gap in content between you and your competitors. So let me uh, give you an example of how it works. So for example, this is my website and I can add competitors' websites here in these sections. Uh, let's just put one because I uh, don't really want to spend time looking for more. Yeah, it, it, you can see it shows you just a handful of results, but you can work with this if you, you kind of switch up the filtering to make sure you see what you need. So you can filter different levels of, uh, of keyword difficulty. You can filter different levels of volume. And you can kind of still go through all of the search results by just shifting the view of what you're looking at. One thing I'm concerned about, though, is that this report will be discontinued on August 12th, which is like just six days from the day when I'm recording this video. And it refers me to the competitive analysis tool, which is not available in this plan, as you can see. So that's a major drawback. I'm, I'm not quite sure how it's going to look like. Maybe after they discontinue the old tool, they'll give you some limited way to use the competitive analysis tool. I think that would be fair. If they remove this tool and there will be no substitute for it, then that's actually a big L for Ahrefs. And I personally think that it takes away quite a lot of the value from the beginner plan. The next available section in the beginner plan is Keyword Explorer. And again, to be fair, this is probably the tool that I would have purchased a subscription to Ahrefs usually. So 
if you're like me and this is the main tool you need, then by all means, this is worth to pay 27 euros for. Otherwise, yeah, be mindful that some of the other tools that I already mentioned are not available. So if you're looking for those, then this subscription will not give you what you need. And the Keyword Explorer tool, it actually works as exactly the same way as it does on a more expensive plan. Let me just uh, throw in some random keywords here so you can see that it actually is the thing. Yeah, so there you go. Some of the information is not available, but then again, I don't see that information as that valuable. Let's say like growth or when was it first seen? Okay, there is some value in that, but I can personally live without it. All the filters, they work as expected, so you can apply them to your search results and you can kind of fine tune the results to fit whatever you need. The other sections of the same page, keyword ideas, uh, related terms work exactly the same as they do in a more expensive plan. As you can see, it gives you a lot of results. They're quite detailed, so you can filter them any way you want. And for me, this is actually quite a good way to find sort of these gems of keywords that I potentially want to rank for. You can find uh, long tail keywords by adjusting the word count. You can find the easier ones and the more difficult ones. So yeah, the keyword difficulty on Ahrefs is quite accurate as far as I can tell. Obviously, if you've been doing this sort of thing for quite some time, then you know that not all low difficulty keywords that you can see here are worth pursuing because of other reasons. But generally, if you stumble upon something that might be applicable to your website and you can see that everything lines up in terms of its volume difficulty and kind of the topic that also applies to you, I'd say that might be a win and you can find a lot of good things like that, especially on this page. And finally, the other one that I would normally use quite a lot is search suggestions that goes off the back of what you originally searched for. You can put all the filters you want and you can get all the results that suit your needs. And these would not be directly related to the keywords you posted above, but this would rather be suggestions. And this is a good way to find additional opportunities of keywords that you want to target. You can find a lot of long tail keywords here with a uh, decent volume. Well, depending on what decent means for you and what are your goals, but it's a powerful tool. And in the right hands, it can make a lot of difference for your traffic and for your website. So really, the Site Explorer and the Keyword Explorer, two main things that I pay for when I buy a more expensive plan. And those are the two things that this beginner plan has. For me, um, it's a keeper, but Obviously, you make the choice for yourself whether it gives you the value you need. This is not a promotion video, so there won't be any links in the description or anything like that. If you like the video and find it useful, you can subscribe because I probably will be posting some more SEO-related things here. But other than that, thanks for watching and have a lovely day.